Debo, not a question, but a little word association. Juice Wells. Everybody in the SEC good, man. It's time to play ball. Were you watching the Kentucky Ole Miss game last Saturday while it was going on? For sure. What What were your thoughts as as you're watching Kentucky beat them like they did? And what was that kind of lead you to when, when you know it's the team you're about to play? Yeah. Uh, at any moment, you could lose an SEC. It don't matter who you're playing, man. It's great competition every single week. So it wasn't surprising at all. Could have went either way. Debo, what, do you, what have you seen out of their offense so far, and what do you guys have to do in order to kind of counteract that, slow it down a little bit? Yeah, definitely uh, they got tempo, um, great players. Like I said, we're in the SEC. It's going to be great ball every single week. So just um, we're going to do what we coach to do, our game plan, and that will be that. Don't get me wrong, I do know that you talk about just total domination and everything like that, but I'm just curious, mental mistakes, mental mishaps, not just penalties, just those mental things that might slow down the defense pace, South Carolina's as a whole. Yeah. How are you going to learn from the LSU game and make sure that doesn't happen against Old Miss Saturday? Just the work we've been putting in, just to learn from those things, the film study, the, uh, the extra running, um, being conditioned, just the work we're putting in for it to never happen again. You got a pretty deep defense in general, but you got a lot of a lot more linebackers, a lot more you know secondary players getting sacked. And what did you see from some of the depth that hadn't played a lot before that game? Yeah, which game are you talking about? The guys who played against Akron who hadn't oh, really played Akron. the first okay. three weeks. Yeah, um, oh, I loved it. And I see those guys in practice every day, so I know what we can do. It's just sometimes teams can be very stacked, so it's like you can't see those guys all the time. But I'm glad the world got to see, and they'll keep improving, and there would be much more guys getting in. What did you see from Kentucky's defense when holding a team like Ole Miss to 17 that you watch on tape and really yeah. we can replicate this? For sure. They were able to get off the field on third down, you know, and uh, playing against any team, you want to get off the field on third down. So that's what they were really good at doing. What was your bye week like? What have you been doing for the, the last seven days to make sure you're completely prepared for these uh, next couple weeks? Yep. So uh, still practicing. Um, definitely, we had a couple of days off. Uh, as far as me individual wise, uh, watching film, still working out, making sure anything that was bruised or anything getting it right, and uh, definitely just a lot of film on upcoming opponents, stuff like that. So just to be ready. Hey, Debo. Obviously, in this new era of college football, it's not uncommon to play former teammates. But does this one kind of feel any different inside the locker room? Do you get the sense that it feels any different? So when you ask me, I don't care who we play, uh, it's time to go, you know. So each and every week I'm, I'm trying to dominate. And as a team, I try to instill that in the team. So I think they feel the same exact way that I feel. Like each and every week, each team, it doesn't matter who we play, we're trying to dominate. There was so much before the season that Clayton was going to run a flex nickel defense. Uh, it seems like you guys have been doing a lot of the – the four two five and stuff, but what's it been like on the field in terms of switching off between the three three five and the four two? Yeah, I love it. Um, I love being unpredictable. You never know what we can come out with. We might come out with a whole different new scheme. You never know. So, um, just being unpredictable and uh, doing what we do best. A couple of players were in here last week talking about Bengali Kamara, just how smart he is at football IQ. What's it like playing with him in the linebacker room? Man, we just make each other better, all of us. Bam, Martin, Scott, um, D. Knight, all of us. We, we make each other better, you know, so iron sharpens iron, so. Yeah, appreciate that.